Hello, guys. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hope you feel well. Today we're gonna make countdown in Scratch. I know that most of you have used countdown on your phone or smartphones and iPad, and for waiting for something or check the time. And it can also be very useful for some virtual games or video games. And also. Uh, you can use it as a countdown in your gatherings to play pantomime or such things and it's really awesome. So let's get started. First of all, we have to draw a sprite to put the numbers of clock in it. It can be much more creative but I prefer to make this tutorial a breeze. Therefore, I decided to draw a simple gradient rectangular and then put some dots in it for um, shaping like a clock, something like that. After designing this part, it's time to ask how much time do we need to be counted. For this part, we need two variables, two different variables, one for tracking the minutes and the other one for seconds. want to make this countdown interactive, we have to ask from users to tell us how many minutes do they need to be counted. You can ask this much more easier than me, I don't know why I just keep asking things so hard and complicated. Next up, we're gonna set this number or set this answer as our minutes number and then we're going to ask another question for seconds. Actually, we can't have two answer data simultaneously and for that we have to set our answer just after asking question. Okay, it's done for now and we can get our numbers, for example, for minutes and seconds right now. And we put these two variables as our digital numbers for our countdown. Now we have to write the function to make this work properly. We need to make it forever, work forever, and wait for second, and then change seconds minus one. After that, we are going to uh, add two conditions to our function. For example, for the first one, we're going to say if our seconds equals to zero, first of all, uh, set our seconds to uh, 59 and then change our minutes minus 1 it's time to make sure if it works properly or not Yeah, well done to us. There is another challenge here that how we can stop this countdown. For sure, we want to stop it when both of minutes and seconds variables equals to zero. So, where we can just put this uh, conditional blocks, we have to put this conditional blocks earlier than another conditional blocks because we have to consider the priorities and we have to consider that this uh, scratch programming uh, is going to read all of these codes from the top to bottom and if we put the other condition on top we'll get negative number for minutes now it's time to do something for stopping this countdown we can have some sounds here and we can stop all things here and um, I don't know you can have a, a special background for this uh, session 
and put it here to switch the background for yourself and other things uh, you can be more creative than me of course <laughs> and you can make it a little bit uh, more complicated maybe Okay, it is our countdown. What if you wanted to change it to a timer and wanted to just track the time that we spend for something or for doing some works and something like this? Uh, how can we change it to a timer? First of all, we don't need these asks and we just need this one. But after one second, we really wanted to add a second to our seconds and of, of course we need to set our seconds and set our minutes to zero so I'm gonna set both of them to zero and after that after waiting for one second we wanted to change the seconds by one and we don't need to stop it here we just we can just um, put it away and we can have this that if our seconds equals to 59 we wanted to set seconds to zero and change minutes by one just the opposite of the countdown let's look at it yeah it's working we can just uh, check the other one and it works properly yeah it's really awesome let me see okay uh, we can actually do something else we can just put it to uh, 60 then check it again I think it's better yeah it's good it's great and it's worked properly it works properly okay and we can just add uh, a button here to start this um this a timer not just by clicking the green flag we wanted to add a button here and start um, actually start this timer by that button so we're going to add a button <laughs> We're going to say uh, that when this is sprite clicked, let me see, when this is sprite clicked, we wanted to broadcast a message to start. So we're going to uh, name a new message. And then we're going to say uh, when I receive start message, I'm gonna set both of these to zero and try to track the uh, actually time and uh, I want another button for stopping it so I'm gonna duplicate this one first for starting and one for stopping Okay, then we're going to say when this is sprite clicked, of course for stop, when this is sprite clicked, I wanted to broadcast message stop here and I wanted to say uh, when I receive stop message, please stop all of the spreads like this. Let me check. Start. Stop. 
yeah it works really well and for this part i think this one is good maybe 80 is better and for this one is 82 yeah they both are in a great position i think i'm okay with it we can just change the ui or what else we really want uh, but it's good for now and we can just make it work properly and it really suits me. Let's take an overview to the codes of countdown and codes of timer. that it was super cool and extremely easy and any basic learner can handle it well. By the way, thanks for keep watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe, it will be your kindness and see you soon, bye!